Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and we have another 25 card CGC sub. I like these 25 card subs because they're small. Uh, they're not gone typically for any time at all, and it also helps me gauge, you know, how and what cards I kind of want to send to CGC. Now this sub right here, I graded a lot of Crown Zenith stuff. I wanted to see how it would do. Uh, this one, we're going to start off pretty strong here with a Radiant Charizard, but pulled a 9.5. You can see the centering is off, so... I think a 9.5 is probably as high as we were going to be able to get on this card right here. So that's about maxed out. I don't think with this centering that it would get a 10 from a place like PSA. So I'm gonna, that's that's going into a sale pile unless I don't have one. I don't think I've got a 10 in that. So that might actually end up going into my personal collection. I do have a few alpha cards that I submitted again. We have this web right here. Uh, pulled the 6. A lot of my old alpha cards... They're not in the best of shape, but they're not terrible either. And for me, being in excellent near mint condition, I can just add that to my personal collection and uh, know that it's completely authentic. This one right here did actually really well. We got the Warp Artifact. This is one of the rares from Alpha. So you're talking about like a thousand cards that are probably out there of this particular card. And it pulled a Mint 9, so I was very happy with that. Ended up getting the subgrades on it. You can see right there the 8.5 on the centering. That's what uh, That was the lowest part of it. Uh, next up, we have the Volcanic Eruption. The, the what got hit the most on this one was the corners. You can see right there, it's got a nick on that one. Maybe uh, maybe on the front. I think yeah, that one's got some whitening on it as well. But not too bad with the volcanic eruption. Let's see. Let's pull a another crown zenith card out. So we've got another radiant Charizard. This one also pulled the nine five. The centering seems to be a little bit better on this one. Backside, you can see it's still not perfect though. And once you get into the pristine 10s and the perfect 10s, you're talking about a really, really strong grade. What do we have here? We have the Veteran Bodyguard, pulled a 7, another rare from Alpha. Slowly ticking away at these, these Alpha cards. Ooh, Arceus V-Star pulled the 9-5 on that one. I don't think these were customer cards, but they might have been. I'll have to go back and check. I've got each submission set off to the side but i think typically i put like 26 or more cards in the ones that i send in customer cards with what i really like about doing a little bit of middle manning with cgc subs everything seems to be really quick turnaround right now in fact the slowest part is the registered mail shipping here's that pikachu people have been uh, looking at pulled the nine on this one again the centering is just off a little bit but you can see it there still a nice round grade Got the 9.5 on the Cynthia's Ambition. I believe people like this one a little bit better because of the artwork. It's almost like an alternate art type uh, full art trainer, which I believe we might be getting those in Scarlet and Violet from what I'm hearing. You had like the Miriam on the Japanese side. Here we've got an Absol pulled the 9. I like the artwork on this one. I just like the, the background and just kind of sitting there. It's almost like gloomy outside. Let me put that one back. Well, we'll put it here. Get those alphas out of the way. I want to keep these in the right order. All right, next we have an Irida. I believe this is a pretty decent deck card that people have been playing. Could be wrong there. There's Friends in Hisui. We've got a lot of these Friends cards that sh showcase multiple trainers that are very popular uh, within the, the card game. Got the Roxanne. I figure, why not? It's a it's a female. It's a full art trainer. Let's see what, see what happens on that one. Got another Roxanne. This one pulled the 9. Still no 10s on this sub. Got the Gardenia's Vigor. This one, I, I don't know if it was any good. I just saw all the flowers. I thought, you know what, that, that looks pretty cool. So let me, let me send that one in. Next up, we have the Glacion V-Star. I believe this one is one of the favorites. I mean, it's an evolution. Glacion at that. And then it's got a pretty decent artwork. I like that. All right, what do we have next? Got the Deoxys V-Max with the UFO or Beetle kind of going on there. I think that'll appeal to a lot of the sci-fi fans out there. Next up, we have the Luminion V. I like the way the, the dark blues kind of mesh in with the black. Crown Zenith is really nice for having so many different artworks that can appeal to a broad range of customers. Here we have the Leafeon V-Star, v another Evolution. For just collectors in general, I bet this would make a killer binder set, having all these cards side by side. Like I don't even know what's going on here in this Zoroark V-Star, but it, it, to me, it still looks pretty cool. Another 9.5, got a 9.5 on this Pikachu. This one seems pretty popular among people. I don't know how like how rare these cards are going to be in the long run, but Crown Zenith right now is pretty tough to come by. There's only a few releases, although we're going to have releases coming out every now and then for several months now. 
All right, we've got the Lapras here with the 9.5. This is one that I like. I don't know if this is a fan favorite, but Lapras, I like the way Lapras has come on so strong ever since his first appearance in Fossil, where it was definitely not that popular. And then finally, we're going to finish off with this Toxitricity. I like the variance in color here. you got the purple and the yellow, the complementary colors kind of bringing out the uh, the Pokemon themselves, making it pop. But that'll be the last card. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about those Crown Zenith returns. Zero tens had zero tens in it. But overall, I thought the print quality was pretty good. The centering seemed to be what affected it the most. And we'll have another video coming out really soon. Thanks.